couple of occasions this summer already. Tyson Gay, then the favourite, goes in lane four in this men's 100 metres final. Look out too, though, for Walter Dix, who's been in great form this year. And a Richard Thompson, too, in lane three, will try to match the American every step of the way. He's the third fastest man of the, in the world this year on paper, is uh, Tyson Gay. But he's beaten both Powell and Bolts now. There's Troll Kimmons. He goes in lane one as the American. Fourth in his heat. He got through as the fastest lose with 10.25. Jamie Samuels goes in lane two. The American who uh, got through by right here. But uh, he's very much an outsider, it has to be said. Then the Trinidadian, Richard Thompson. Second in his heat in 10.14. And third in uh, Stockholm last week behind Gay and Bolt. There is uh, Tyson Gay. The world number one, well, he probably is, frankly, and uh, holding back those injuries at the moment, which have taken both Powell and Bolt out of this season so far. Bolt uh, has hung his spikes up. Powell was meant to race tonight, couldn't make it. Walter Dix, well, he's better over 200 metres, frankly, as Dix, but he is a 9.88 man, and that this year, if he starts well, he could be dangerous. Johan Blake, well, this could be the biggest danger. He's just 20 years old, is Blake, coached by Glenn Mills, and Mills coaches one Usain Bolt, so don't ride off the young Jamaican. He's in sixth. Wallace Spearman goes in lane seven. He's a 9.96 man, Spearman, but very much a 200 metre specialist bronze medalist last year at the World Championships in Berlin over the longer sprints. And then uh, Mike Rogers in lane eight completes the lineup. Rogers, well, 994 last year. He was only third in his heat here in 1022, so not really firing in all cylinders. And frankly, has had a very uh, uh, reduced season from a racing perspective. But uh, Tyson Gay former world champion at 100 metres and 200 metres. He'll want to regain those titles, which he won in Osaka in, 19, uh, in 2007. And of course, he heads out to Asia again next year, barring injury for those world championships in Daegu. In very, very good form so far. Wins in Gateshead, beating Powell. One in Monaco over 200 metres. And then uh, one in Stockholm last week, beating Usain Bolt. He's uh, in wonderful shape is the Kentucky-born American in lane four. The line-up again from the inside. Trell Kimmins in one, Jamie Samuels in two, Thompson in three, Gay four, Dix five, Blake six, watch him, Spearman seven, Rogers in lane eight. Gay in the yellow there in lane four. Okay. Well, not a bad start from... Gabe, although he did stumble a little bit there, coming back at him now as Thompson on the far side and going well on this side too is Blake in yellow, but Gabe's going to take this one. The margin there, about a metre at the line. 9.78! It's the fastest time in the world this year. Into a slight headwind, can you believe? Minus 0.4 the headwind, but Gay had to work for it because young Johan Blake will have run a very fast time here tonight as well, probably a personal best. He's been in great form, the young Jamaican, and Gay certainly had to work to keep him at bay, holding the groin there again. I think when he really exerts himself, this man, when he really stretches, didn't have Powell or Bolt up against him, he was able to run there without any of that sort of pressure, then he does succumb to injury. 9.78 confirmed, the fastest time in the world this year, and a new meeting record, and indeed, young Johan Blake for Jamaica. 9.89 for second place, a new personal best. They were way ahead of third place. What a run, it just goes from strength to strength. Well, Gay got away well here, so did Blake on the near side, but this is where Tyson Gay's at his best. Watch his ahead, and he starts to work on that speed endurance, and he really pounded away, didn't he? Blake looks good, doesn't he, too? Coming through very strongly, but 9.78, and that's unofficial at the moment, is absolutely brilliant. Let's have a look from the other side. Comes up very, very slowly. Gay just gets up onto his toes. Blasts away, look at that, he's spreading away from this field beautifully. High on his hips, beautiful arm action. Typical sprinting technique of a man who's read the textbooks. Wins it comfortably in the end. Just comes up slowly, very slowly. Doesn't look up too quickly. When he gets up, the pressure's on. He only takes a couple of breaths. Look at him holding his breath, it's all uh, anaerobic stuff here. Now he's breathing. Looking at the line, anxious to get there, and my goodness me, he got there very, very quickly indeed at 9.78.
and that is a truly magnificent piece of running, piece of sprinting, power sprinting all the way with terrific dexterity. He's got it all. Well, let's hope this ebb and flow of the sprint scene comes to a climax next year in Daegu. Tyson Gay winning then. 9.78, the fastest time in the world this year. Johan Blake, great progress from the young Jamaican. 9.89, Richard Thompson, 10.05 for third. Well, my goodness me. Look at that. There are the three places, and we'll have a look at the overall uh, Diamond League uh, standings, the Samsung Diamond League standings. And uh, in a moment, but certainly there's no absolute clear favourite in this. Asafa Powell's got 10, it was injured and couldn't come here, but look at that, there are three, two guys closing him down. It's going to all depend on the next couple of meets, isn't it? Gay and Thompson there on eight points with Bolt on six. He takes no further part in the competition.